There are organizations in place to help people living in hoarding situations. WKBN Community Affairs Director Dee Crawford goes in depth about the team approach they have for helping people. Thank you for joining us for this continued conversation regarding hoarding. Um, let's talk about what's termed intervention. Want to go ahead? Well, um, when we talk about intervention, uh, the, the key is the, the recognition um, uh, that there's a problem. Uh, many times uh, you can drive down a street and, and not really be able to tell there's a problem in a various uh, house or apartment. Um, and sometimes the intervention starts with a phone call from uh, someone who has uh, contact with an individual, be it a police officer, fire department, emergency response uh, personnel. They see a problem uh, and they make a referral to whomever. And we want to, as a coalition, make sure there's no wrong front door. So if it's a police officer who sees a situation because they were called out for a welfare check uh, and sees a number of cats or a number of items and uh, the person may or may not be living safely, that police officer can uh, make a referral to Jane or make a referral to Direction Home of Eastern Ohio or to the health department. So the humanity side of it could be taken care of by a referral to the hospital or for health care, and then you have to decide whether that individual is able to return back to that home or not. Correct. So then Animal Charities goes in, and what do you do once you get in there? Yeah, it's, it, we all try to show up at the same time. So okay. when that uh, first initial uh, referral comes in to any one of our agencies, we try and come together. So that way, when the person needs to be receiving help, everything is dealt with at the same time. Um, the house, the belongings, the person's mental health, uh, their actual physical health, getting them to the hospital, and then the cats can be removed and also receive those services all at the same time. Correct. That's, a, that's an important point that Jane brings is that when we gather as a team, uh, we try to gather as much information about the situation prior to uh, meeting, uh, and then we can start the process. We've dealt now with uh, the coalition definition of hoarding intervention, and mm -hmm. our next conversation is going to be about what the community can do mm -hmm. and how to get in touch with the coalition to address the problem. And last but not least, the cost mm -hmm. to the community through tax dollars. I think one thing um, that, oh, we're going to move on right now. I'm going to thank you, but hold that thought because yeah. we're going to get to it. I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi, everyone. I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.